newborn examination should be quick thorough and gentle it should be done after washing the hand in a warm room and baby has to be kept warm throughout the examination welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn about newborn examination do not skip anything watch till end let's start learning I am Dr. Triya Virani Malde, pediatrician and consultant neonatologist. I'll be your guide for pediatric subject. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and give like to this video because lot is going to happen on this channel for pediatric. In upcoming series of newborn examination, we are going to answer the following question: When to do? What are the prerequisite of the examinations? What are the principles of examination? General appearance, vital signs. anthropometry head to toe examination systemic examination neonatal reflexes and gestational age estimation in this video we are going to cover till anthropometry the rest of the part to be covered in upcoming video series so when to conduct a physical examination basically it has to be done at four times first at the time of birth in the delivery room second examination to be done after 24 hours third at the time of the discharge when baby is going to home with mother and the third when mom comes with any kind of complaint at the same time we have to do examination thoroughly to rule out major problems in newborn now what are the prerequisite of the newborn we cannot just walk and examine the newborn because they are very tiny and fragile our examination procedure should not harm newborn so first and foremost it has to be done in warm room we need require few equipment for examination and one of that important equipment is a weighing machine another one is thermometer stethoscope the baby has to be kept on a fresh clean sheet whenever we need to do head to toe examination and the very important thing that mother and baby has to be together and we have to at least take informed consent from the relatives or mother that we are going to examine the newborn of course it has to be done with after the thorough hygienic hand wash all the accessories has to be removed bangles rings wrist watch thread everything has to be removed the sleeve has to be rolled till the elbow this whole part should be exposed and procedure of the hand washing that is for 2 minute has to be followed we also require stop watch because we require to assess the respiratory rate of the newborn to rule out tachypnea very important another equipment is a measure tape because we need to take anthropometry of newborn there should be adequate adequacy of the light and after the examination we should educate the family last but not the least a very important step that baby has to be kept warm throughout the examination So as we already discussed what are the principle it should be very quick it should be thorough and it should be gentle we should not harm because they are very fragile and while our process of examination we should not harm the newborn by doing anything wrong i don't see which brain doesn't know so if you are not sure want you want to examine do not attempt the examination it should be with the proper technique all steps has to be followed you cannot just walk down and examine the newborn so the technique should be known to you and you have to revise in your mind before conducting it we need to perform a painful procedure at then for example if we are examining a neonatal reflexes then moros has to be done at last because otherwise it will initiate the crying and the rest of the examination will not be possible and it has to be head to toe so what are the steps there are basically four steps we have to assess then we have to classify manage and then counsel in assessment we have to ask that is a history that is already been discussed in the previous lecture if you have not gone through it please go through it look listen and feel is a part of examination inspection auscultation and palpation after this initial process we need to see whether these all things are normal or not not if there is any sign has to be monitored which is a sign of concern or there should be a danger sign 
which require immediate management of the newborn by shifting to neonatal intensive care unit so at birth examination is very important and it has to be done to rule out all the congenital malformation we need to be very sure that there is a smooth transition from in utero life to extra uterine life that is baby has been passed through the transition and he has initiated a breathing very well and it is for the overall assessment of the baby in particularly to see the vital sign so these are the same step we have discussed ask is a part of history look listen and feel is a part of examination so first of all it starts with the general appearance of the body so first step is a general appearance in which we need to see posture movement and activity by looking at the baby we will we'll come to know that baby is fine or not look at this baby this baby is looking very sick and is having a lethargy his posture and the appearance is sick while this all babies this is at peace this is sleeping and this is crying these all three part type of activity is considered to be normal in a newborn after looking at the general appearance the second important step is to see the vital signs in which we are going to measure temperature heart rate respiratory rate blood pressure is non invasive blood pressure monitoring and capillary refill time this is a part of a indication of the perfusion in newborn the first and foremost thing is the measurement of the temperature temperature could be taken by three method first is palpatory second is with the thermometer and third is the thermistor probe of the warmer in a palpatory method we need to use back of our hand and the temperature has to be palpated on the torso of the body and the periphery of the baby's arms and the legs if temperature if it feels warm everywhere then everything is fine but if the baby's torso is warm but periphery is cold to touch it mean baby is in the cold shock and baby is in having a mild hypothermia and if everything is feeling cold it means baby is either having moderate or a severe hypothermia and this baby has to be initiated a management and has to be shifted to the neonatal intensive care unit for further management if you see the other method that is with the thermometer in which we are putting the thermometer in the axilla after cleaning the axilla the tip of the thermometer should be lying in the apex of the axilla normal temperature of the newborn is 36.5 to 37.5 degree centigrade and axillary temperature we all know is the one one degree lower than the rectal temperature we never take the any kind of core temperature that is rectal temperature in a newborn it is now banned and it has not to be taken any the second important vital parameter is heart rate it has to be obtained by auscultation and it should be counted for a full minute here we require stopwatch normal heart rate is 120 to 160 ha beat per minute if the infant is having tachycardia more than 170 make sure that infant is not crying or moving vigorously because any movement can cause tachycardia second important thing is no we need to see the respiratory rate here also we will require the stopwatch we have to see this movement here that how for how many times it is moving in a full one minute it has to be counted for a minute because newborn is having a periodic breathing where there is a phase of tachypnea followed by some pause of 10 to 20 seconds so if you count the respiratory rate during that period you may end up with a either higher or a lower respiratory rate so it has to be counted for a full one minute the normal rate is 40 to 60 per minute the demonstration video that we have to count the uh, respiratory rate here you can see the baby is having a tachypnea and the respiratory rate is on the higher side this is just for your demonstration 1 2 3 4 5 likewise we have to count for full one minute i have already counted here it is for one minute it was 78 so this baby is having a tachypnea capillary refill time 
first of all how to assess this the picture clearly demonstrate that on the sternum we have to press our pulp of the finger for a 3 second 2000 one, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 and then it has to be removed and this part should get refilled within 3 seconds 2001, 2002, 2003. So for pressing we need to press it for 5 seconds and for measuring we have to press C for a 3 seconds. It has to be less than 3 seconds. Delayed capillary refill time indicate a poor perfusion and it could be the first sign of shock. Now the second important part. So we have learned a general appearance, vital signs and now we are going to learn anthropometric measurement in a newborn. Three important parameters has to be taken and that is weight, length and head circumference. We, all, we have already discussed that what are the normal parameter of the newborn in growth series 2. If you have not gone through that series, please go through it. Link is in the description box as well as there is I button. The normal newborn Indian baby weight average is 2.8 kg. We all know that less than 2.5 kg are known as LBW that is low birth weight. Baby loses their 5 to 10 percent of the birth weight in first few days after the birth and that regains after the 7 to 10 days and the normal weight gain is 15 to 20 gram per day that is 10 to 15 gram per kg per day. So important part is the birth has weight has to be taken at the time of birth after the initial steps and it has to be taken on digital weighing machine and has to be recorded as a part of birth record second important step is length we all know that the length has to be measured on the infantometer and the baby's head has to be fixed baby's head has to be fixed in a position against the upright headboard legs are straightened feet at right angles to the leg toes pointing upward and free board has to be brought in the firm contact with the child Yes, this is the way we take the length of the child. Uh, pardon me, I couldn't find the photo of newborn, so it's the same thing. It's around two or three month baby in which we have taken a height in OPD. Now the third important parameter is head circumference. So head circumference, we need to use a non-stretchable measuring tap. Method, we all know that two part has to be taken. One is occiput and prominent part is occiput and here it is supraorbital ridge that's why it is also called occipitofrontal circumference it, OFC and the method is a cross step method here you can see we need to see the cross step method and whatever measuring measurement is coming has to be recorded in the sheet that conclude our first part of the newborn examination in the upcoming video we are going to learn head to toe examination systemic examination neonatal reflexes and gestational age examination i hope you all understood and learned well your feedback are welcome for improvement of my channel please let me know what else you would like to learn from me till that time take care of yourself study hard and study smart